Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive JT. Today, I'm going to make an attempt to protect my Jeep Gladiator, at least the fenders, those plastic black fenders. You know, my Jeep sits outside in the sun every day. So those fenders are getting beaten upon every day. And I'm talking about these fenders here, right? The front, the back. These parts that always seem to gray out and degrade after time. Now, I live in South Texas where it's, it's cloudy today, but it's typically bright sunshine most of the time. So, what I'm going to use, and I tried this on my other Jeep Gladiator and it seemed to work pretty well. So, we're going to give it a shot here. I'm going to show you guys. But, what I'm using is just a simple... Adams polish or anything. I mean, you could just use soapy water. It doesn't matter. I just happen to have this sitting around, so I thought I'd use it uh, to clean off those fenders uh, first thing. And then I'm going to use this blazing banana, and I love the way this stuff smells. It's a Chemical Guys product. Uh, any spray-on wax, uh, and I would recommend spray-on because you can wipe it on and wipe it off quickly. And it doesn't really dry fast. And the last thing you want to do is put some kind of a turtle type wax or paste type wax. I always think uh, turtle and paste wax is synonymous, right? But some kind of a paste wax on there that's going to dry white and get into the little crevices. Don't do that. That would be a nightmare. So let me stick you on my hat and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. First things first, as mentioned, we're going to grab this waterless wash going to go ahead and just well, hopefully spray oh of course I pumped it first it built up pressure and then sprayed on me when I opened it up right I do want it on the misting feature so make sure we have that going to go ahead and just spray this on still have a little bit of water on it from condensation outside I guess just to clean it up I mean you obviously don't want to you know put anything on it while it's dirty so and it actually looks good uh, just kind of cleaning it off so not too bad might have actually held up pretty well so far so I think now is a, a pretty good time to do it before we get to the point that uh, it's already ruined and then trying to restore it becomes a, a whole different process then right now make sure you get in the seam here you want to get any dirt out of there like that because we're going to spray the wax on there as well go around the lights you can see there is a bit of dirt in there too so and then we'll let this one kind of dry a little bit and unfortunately I can't get right up against the edges of the truck I mean I guess if I grabbed something pointed and stuck it down I could get in there but I'm not that concerned that's kind of protected anyway because of where it is we'll let that one dry meanwhile let's go ahead and hit the other one real quick best time to do this is probably right after you wash the truck I mean when it's nice and clean right but unfortunately I'm not a big fan of washing vehicles so it doesn't get washed nearly as often as it should and I can see I've got some tree junk down there in the crack Let's see if I can get to that yeah not really not a big deal I mean it is a Jeep right it's got to have some ruggedness to it Again, make sure we get in this crack or seam, whatever you want to call it. And then just as far into the edge as we can. I mean, if you're really particular, you could, again, grab something pointed and get in there. Don't use a screwdriver. I mean, you don't want to gouge up your paint, right? So there, that takes care of that. We'll let that dry for a bit. In the meantime, See if we can shut this without getting it all over me again. We're going to do the other side, and that's going to be with the wax here. So I'm going to kind of just spray it on. And the good thing about this stuff is, is you spray it on, leave it sit for just a second, and then just wipe it off. Leaves a residue on there, and the idea behind that is to protect, obviously, the plastic. 
Wouldn't be a bad idea too to go ahead and uh, see if you can find something that has UV protection in it. Uh, this does not necessarily say that it does. Just a durable high gloss protection. It says mirror finish for all colors, enhanced depth and reflection. Well, we're not really reflecting off of here, so that's not a big deal. Okay, let's just go ahead. We don't want a ton of this stuff on here. Just a little bit like so. It'll get on the rag, of course, and then we can kind of spread it around, which is what I'm doing. Not fearful of getting it on the lens either. Uh, I've done it before like that. It never caused me any trouble, so. And I'm going to go ahead and get inside that crack. There we go. And you may have noticed, at least I just did, one area I kind of forgot to do, and that's the, the very edge of the, the uh, fender flare, if you will. It's okay, I'll just wipe that down on both sides when I'm completely finished. And look how nice that looks already. I mean, it does give it a shine. That's pretty cool. I wasn't really looking to achieve a, a shine on there, but that's a, a welcome byproduct, I guess. So, that takes care of that side. Let's go ahead and hit up this side. Same thing, just want a little bit on there. Don't want to go crazy. We're not trying to soak it or anything. Nice circular motion. And again, I'm not worried about the lens. It might even help to protect the lens a little bit. And speaking of lenses, I don't know if you guys can see, but this lens has kind of changed color a little bit. It used to be clear. In the bright sunshine, it's yellowed a bit. So these I think I'm going to replace. I actually kind of forgot about it. I'd mentioned it before. Uh, but I think I'm going to replace them with what's on my wife's, which is a nice tinted kind of thing. Uh, although she does have the tinted fronts on hers as well, so I think I probably would have to do these as well. It is a nice LED look, so uh, I do think it would look good. So we're just going to continue, polish this up a little bit. Again, I've got the stuff on the rag so I can get in the seam. There you go, and got even more black stuff out of here, you can see. Just kind of rub it in as far as I can on the side. Look at that, look how nice that looks. Although even with this, you can see there's some scratching in here. I don't know why. I haven't uh, taken it out in the brush or anything, so it shows you just kind of how fragile these pieces are. Um, or fragile, what I say, fragile? Created a new word there. But there you go. So I will do the back ones as well. You get the idea. I'm not going to spend any time on the video doing those. But it does provide for a nice shiny look. Uh, it should keep it pretty well protected. I'd probably do this if you live in a climate like I live in where there's lots of bright UV sunshine. Uh, I might uh, do this, I don't know, three or four times a year or something like that. I mean, for the amount of time that it takes to do it, and that has a nice smooth <laughs> feel to it now. Slippery, I should say. But for the time it takes to do this, I mean, it's, uh, it's actually pretty simple and it's good protection. Uh, probably not a bad idea to even go across the steps there and some of the other plastic on the truck. I mean, we've got the same material on the mirrors and the door handles. And of course, a plastic kind of material, a composite material for the, the roof back there. Even the cowling up here in front where the windshield wipers are. But depending on how particular you are, I know it's a Jeep and some people never wash them, just leave them go. They're supposed to be rugged, off-road, but let's face it, when you spend, what did this thing cost now? Nah, probably high 50, 60 some thousand dollars, depending on where you live for a vehicle. Uh, you want to keep it kind of nice, right? 
So this is just a simple way to do it. Again, I'm not sponsored by any of these products or anything. I would just get whatever you like. This one I just happened to have, so that's the one I use today. Leave a comment. Let me know. Do you do this kind of stuff or just let it weather however it's going to weather and leave it alone? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.